Today, we will talk about the future of cars, more precisely cars in 25 years from now. So let's take a ride into the future, where the combustion engine may or may not be sputtering its dying breath. Imagine this 25 years from now, you'll still find us thrill-seekers gripping the steering wheel, tapping those pedals, and yanking that gear lever like our lives depend on it. Because, let's face it, who doesn't love the exhilarating feeling of being in control? But wait, because being a car enthusiast ain't as breezy as it used to be. Unfortunately manufacturers are caught in a legislative tug-of-war, forced to juggle safety, efficiency, and pollution while also trying to churn out more cars faster than you can say bazinga. It's like trying to navigate rush hour traffic without a GPS, stressful and bad. Yet fear not, because the love affair between man and machine isn't fading anytime soon. Car makers aren't plotting to turn us into mere passengers in soulless metal boxes. Nope, they're banking on that emotional connection we have with our four-wheeled companions, the way they purr, the way they handle, the way they make us feel like kings of the road. Sure, the sports cars of tomorrow might sport a futuristic facelift and enough tech to make Elon Musk blush, but mark my words, there will always be a time and place for good old-fashioned driver engagement. Whether it's tearing up the track or cruising down a desolate highway, the thrill of the open road isn't going extinct anytime soon. Now, predicting the future of the auto industry is like trying to parallel park a bus blindfolded. But hey, that's half the fun, right? So, if you've got your own crystal ball or just want to share your two cents, drop a line in the comments below, or better yet, beam your thoughts directly into our minds, we're open to all forms of communication, including telepathy. In 2040s, cars might just be more electrifying than a lightning storm at a rave. According to Neville Jackson, the brainiac over at Ricardo, it's out with the old, in with the electric. Picture this, engines taking a backseat while electric motors steal the show. It's like your grumpy old uncle suddenly finding a new lease on life at the disco, unexpected, yet strangely fitting. But fear not, gearheads. Even with engines shrinking faster than your favorite sweater in the dryer, there's hope for those fuel-guzzling dinosaurs yet. Ricardo's cooking up schemes to snatch back that wasted heat energy, like using it to power a Stirling engine, you know. The relic from 1816 that's dustier than your grandma's attic. Or how about turning heat into electricity with thermoelectric materials? It's like alchemy, but for cars. And forget about your run-of-the-mill four-stroke engines, we're talking split-cycle engines here, where cylinders work together like synchronized swimmers at the Olympics. It's a symphony of intake, compression, power, and exhaust, orchestrated by mad scientists in lab coats. And if that's not wild enough for you, imagine a hybrid engine that's a love child between petrol and diesel, flipping between spark and compression ignition like a DJ switching tracks at a rave. It's like the ultimate party mix, but with fuel. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, are making a comeback, like the underdog finally scoring a touchdown in the fourth quarter. With Toyota, Honda, and Hyundai leading the pack, it's like the Avengers of the automotive world teaming up to save the planet. Toyota's got its Mirai, a hybrid on steroids, sucking up hydrogen like it's going out of style. And those fuel cell stacks? Hundreds of tiny cells turning hydrogen and oxygen into electricity, leaving nothing behind but water and a sprinkle of magic. Sure, building a hydrogen filling station might be trickier than teaching a cat to do calculus, but with one billion pound budgeted in Europe alone, it's like the gold rush all over again. What about the oil industry? They always keeping us on our toes with their roller coaster predictions. Fifteen years ago, they were all doom and gloom, warning us that oil would be rarer than a unicorn riding a rainbow by 2040. But hold on to your gas pumps, folks, because today, BP's flipping the script faster than a Bollywood movie. According to BP, fossil fuels are making a comeback. They're like the comeback kid of the energy world, with 4.8 trillion barrels of oil and gas just waiting to be scooped up like candy at a parade. And get this, they're not stopping there. 
BP's banking on another 2.7 trillion barrels popping up like surprise guests at a party. But hey, don't count out the alternatives just yet. Brazilian sugarcane ethanol and synthetic liquid fuel made from natural gas are giving oil a run for its money. And let's not forget about biomass, turning grass into gold faster than skin on a caffeine high. And tires? Yes tires, are stealing the spotlight in the automotive world. Goodyear's cooking up some high-tech wizardry, like tires that talk to your car and chain shape like transformers on the road. It's like having a personal assistant for your wheels. And speaking of wheels, EV owners, rejoice! By 2040, your ride could be going the distance like a marathon runner on Red Bull. Imagine driving 500 miles on a single charge and juicing up your battery faster than you can say drugs. Bosch is leading the charge with lighter, cheaper batteries that pack more punch than Mike Tyson in his prime. But hold on, because the real game-changer is lithium sulfur batteries. Forget cobalt shortages and chemical cocktails, these babies are the holy grail of EV technology, with twice the energy density of your grandma's secret brownie recipe. The future's looking brighter than a Tesla showroom on Black Friday. But what about the age-old question, will we be masters of our own destiny behind the wheel, or mere passengers in the grand journey of automation? Well it looks like we're heading for a hybrid ride of both autonomy and driver control. According to Tony Harper, the brains behind Jaguar Land Rover's research, we've been on this wild ride for decades now. It all started with radar, then cruise control got a makeover, and before you knew it, we had cameras peeping out of every corner of our cars like nosy neighbors. By 2020, we'll be cruising through traffic jams with the finesse of a seasoned DJ, thanks to parking functions and low-speed maneuvering taking the wheel. And beyond that? Get ready for lidar sensors and valet parking without the valet, poor guys. By 2040, will our cars be living their best autonomous lives or will we still be calling the shots? Harper's hedging his bets, saying, why not both? Picture summoning your car like a loyal pup or kicking back on a dull commute while your car takes the wheel. It's like having a personal chauffeur without the awkward small talk. And guess what? No special training required. If your car needs a manual, then it's doing it wrong. It's all about making the transition from driver to passenger as smooth as silk, with the car assessing the threat level like a bodyguard. But the future's not just about self-driving cars, it's about transforming the entire cockpit into a digital wonderland. Picture screens as wide as the horizon, video calls on the go, and customizing your dashboard like it's your own personal playground. It's like stepping into a sci-fi movie, but without the aliens, hopefully. The road ahead is paved with possibilities, from autonomous adventures to personalized dashboards. It's a brave new world out there, and we're just along for the ride. The future of car interiors is about to get touchy-feely. Haptic feedback, the wizardry behind keeping your eyes glued to the road instead of your infotainment screen, is getting a makeover courtesy of Bosch. Imagine feeling like you're pressing real buttons on a flat surface, all while navigating through your car's functions with a gentle touch or a firm push. It's like having your cake and eating it too, tactile sensations without the clutter of physical buttons cluttering up your sleek interior. Say goodbye to poking at touchscreens like a caveman, gesture control is the next big thing. Just wave your hands like you just don't care, and your car will respond like a loyal puppy adjusting the volume or temperature with a flick of your wrist. And get this, your car will even recognize you as you approach, opening its doors like a VIP entrance at a fancy club. It's like having a personal butler on wheels, ready to cater to your every whim. But enough about interiors, let's talk production lines. Toyota, the maestro of lean manufacturing, is shaking things up with a factory makeover straight out of a sci-fi novel. Picture production lines that can stretch or shrink like a rubber band, allowing for quick adjustments to meet demand. And forget about waiting months for your customized car. Toyota's new system can whip up individual specifications faster than you can say a League of Legends. 
With lighter, movable equipment and streamlined processes, it's like the factory of the future has arrived today. The future of car construction is about to get lightweight and plastic fantastic. Like a Barbie. Say hello to transmissions made from polymers and engines crafted from fiber-reinforced composites. It's like building cars out of Legos, but way cooler. And speaking of cool, carbon fiber is set to become the new black, with prices dropping faster than a lead balloon. Lightweight, durable, and stylish, it's the trifecta of automotive materials. The future's looking brighter, touchier, and lighter than ever before. The era of the connected city, where the internet and interconnectivity reign supreme, making urban life smoother than a jazz saxophonist solo. Street lights that magically switch on as you approach, or real-time updates on public transport that are as precise as your grandma's Sunday roast recipe. But here's the kicker, building a connected city from scratch might just spell trouble for our beloved private vehicles. Audi's big cheese, Rupert Stadler, is already sweating bullets over the shrinking parking spots in city centers. And can you blame him? With Transport for London leading the charge in ditching road space for bike lanes and car share schemes, it's like the plot of a car lover's worst nightmare. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, air pollution. Diesel vehicles are the new villains in town, with European capitals like Paris threatening to ban them altogether. London's already hopping on the zero emissions bandwagon, mandating that all taxis and private hire vehicles be eco-friendly by the end of the decade. So what's the solution? Enter the car of the future, decked out with all the bells and whistles to tackle city life head-on. Think hybrid transmissions, automatic braking, and pedestrian detecting cameras, all designed to make navigating urban jungles a breeze. But wait, there's more! Satnav systems will be like your personal urban Sherpa, warning you of speed bumps, school zones, and even areas prone to accidents. And with wireless charging on the horizon, juicing up your electric ride will be as easy as parking over a fancy pad. But here's the real kicker, RR plot twist the car of the future isn't just a dream for tomorrow. It's already hitting the streets today, with models packed to the brim with futuristic tech. The future's coming at us faster than a speeding drunk driver, and it's looking greener, smarter, and more connected than ever before. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button Tom and subscribe for more content like this. If you want to know the car problem click on the video on the screen.